kids want to be at home with their kids. They want to have husbands and they want to take care of their husbands. They want to cook and they want to clean and they want to wear dresses. Move over trad wives. There's a new trend on TikTok and that's the passport bros. I offer the following heartfelt sentiment. You can all suck it. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Wendy, what's wrong with a guy liking to travel? You know, visit new countries, learn about different cultures. Well, the problem is they're not going over there to learn about that country. They're there for one thing and one thing only. You guys know that there's a trend encouraging men to all get passports and travel abroad. It's not just for sights or good food. No, no. It's to find wives. To find women who are more traditional. More traditional. Why do you have to try to sound like the Kardashians? It's not cute. We're traveling all across the world just to find women who are more humble, more feminine, and willing to treat their men better than women in the US. Yep, men are done trying to date North American women and now are traveling across the world to find women that are more feminine and attentive to their every need. What I can appreciate about Passport Bros is I think it's an effective flag being raised for Western women. The motivation for it is the fact that men are still expected to act very traditionally. They're expected to be very chivalrous. They're expected to be protectors. Maybe they're not expected to provide to the same extent now that women can essentially match them on income. But if that's what a man's duty to you is, to be chivalrous, it's very, very loosely defined what a woman's duty Absolutely. to a man is. It's very ambiguous. And that is why I think they go to places where they are actually taught from a young age how to treat a man. What is your duty to a man? And whether you want to talk about in in the context of the word submission, which I know that a lot of girls don't like, me and her use the word deference instead of submission. Sounds a little bit better. It's like she wants to defer to her man a little bit more than mm. he defers to her. The look on his wife or girlfriend's face was so blank. It really makes me question if she even likes him. I'm out in Brazil right now, you know, and it's crazy. A black man being a passport bro, oh, they don't like him. They don't like it because we operated with a diversion tactic. We diverting away from these feminist organizations. We diverting away from paying you your bills. Hold up for a second. So you're expecting to have a traditional woman, yet you're not going to be paying her bills. So she's going to have to do homemaker traditional things, which includes not working. How is she going to survive? That makes absolutely no sense. Uh, being used for money, we diverge, like we diverting away from the court system taking advantage of us. Shout out to all the Blue Book gentlemen, AKA Passport Bros. Finding love overseas is nothing new. Before the internet, men were able to order a foreign bride from a catalog. Once a woman and her family decided that she would be willing to go abroad to start her life with a husband, they would enter her name into a list. This list would be given to men who were searching for a woman to join them in their life on the great frontier. From there, they would contact the woman they wanted to make their bride. Found Russia so far, Mr. Colin. Well, it's a great country, Vlad. I'm having a heck of a time. Yes, yes. Let, now let's get down to business, shall we? You want to find a beautiful Russian bride to take back to America, eh? That's why I'm here. So where are men actually finding their dream girls? These are the top travel destinations for passport bros in 2023. Let's hear these in no particular order. Number one, Thailand. Number two, Croatia. Number three, Brazil. Four, we all know this one, Colombia. And at number five, Philippines. How are the TikTok trad wives feeling about our men heading overseas to find their own trad wife? What are the possible cultural differences happening here? Personally, I see women here in the United States chasing independence and freedom away from their family. Statistically, the number of single 18 and 19 year old girls getting into apartments or living situations with roommates has skyrocketed. Why? They don't want to live with their parents and be told what to do. Whereas in these other countries where traditional values are practiced more, these girls are staying close to their family or living with their family until they find their husbands. These women and young girls are getting guidance from these male figures in their family, such as their dad or their brothers. They're protected from outside interference and influence from their family. It makes sense. The idea of living with your parents past the age of 18 is kind of looked down upon here in the United States. Like, oh, you live with your parents still? Hmm, yeah, 
What's wrong with that? You're protected, you have guidance, and you're waiting for your husband. You don't have to work crazy hours to support yourself. It makes sense. My conclusion is I understand why this is a thing. There's pros and cons, but I get it. I understand what she's saying, but what happens if you never find a husband? Do you just end up living with your parents for the rest of your life? Or what if your parents are looking forward to having an empty nest? Maybe they don't want to wait till you find a husband. They've worked hard their entire lives. They raised their children. They deserve some freedom too. Hey boys. Hey. Uh, Hi. Trip, we're going out. All right, listen, got anyone chips and salsa downstairs? Oh, I didn't get to the store. Uh. Yeah. But you could go. Hmm? And, um, you said you needed your basketball shorts, so I put them in the laundry. All right, thank you, babe. But I didn't get to it, so you're gonna need to do a load. A load? And uh, your bathroom needs cleaning, so I left the stuff in the hall, and when you're done with the rubber gloves, just remember to turn them inside out. Bye. Something's wrong with your mom. In a comment on one of these videos, a guy commented that he's been on 80 first dates and paid every time in the last year, and they all went nowhere. So he's definitely heading overseas to find a woman. I hate to break it to you, buddy, but if you went on that many dates and they all went nowhere, maybe the problem is you. Women of Korea, the passport bros have arrived in Korea, bro. Oh shit. I thought South Korea was safe from passport bros. But they're here, I just saw a TikTok. It's a passport bro. <gasps> Please be careful if you see an aging white dude who's balding. Don't do it, sis. The passport has the passport bros have found Korea. Nobody is safe. Please. Don't go on it. He's not even a Trump. -tiff. Wow, there's no safe places anymore. If they were unable to find love in their own country, what makes them think that women from other countries will want to date them? Or what happens when you do go there and you can't find that perfect submissive babe? Are you a magician? Because Abraka, damn. <laughs> And I say wasted because I doubt many of these men are taking the time to explore the country, learn about the cultures and the history. While they're visiting, they're just interested in finding themselves the perfect wife. Or so we thought. So one of the bros asked, how easy is it to get laid in Colombia? It is extremely easy. You just get on Bumble or Tinder, a couple of swipes, and you're going to be meeting up with people. And let me tell you, it is nothing like dating women here in America. Once you experience dating outside of America, you will never want to date women here in America again. I mean, so like once you exchange a couple messages, they will ask which hotel you're staying at. I mean, they will come to you, to your hotel. You go down to the bar, you get like one, two drinks. I mean, the next thing you know, you're going up to your room, having a great time. And then afterwards, you go out to dinner, you laugh, you talk. I mean, you get to know each other. You do that afterwards. I mean, because here in America, you can spend hundreds of dollars, you can spend hours of your time, I mean, proving to this queen what a high value man you are, I mean, for nothing. I mean, then you have to do the same thing again for a second, for a, I mean, for a third day, and then maybe you will get lucky. So it's just boring here in America. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I thought the whole point of going overseas to find a woman is because you want a traditional woman with values. And some people seem to think that sex before marriage is a sin. So why are you looking to hook up? You're going to be having a lot of urges. You're going to want to take off your clothes and touch each other. But if you do touch each other, you will get chlamydia and die. There's nothing wrong with finding love on the other side of the world. Just don't assume that these women will want to cater to your every need. They learn everything in, in other from, communities, from yeah. birth, from That's their right. father, from their mother, how to be a wife and how to support your man. Women that need them. It's not even women every that need them, it's women that treat them with respect. So we don't... Y'all know y'all don't. Here's my thoughts on the situation. I could care less where somebody wants to go and fight in love. But if you're wanting a traditional woman, you better be a traditional man. You also better be making enough money to be able to support yourself, her, and if you have children.
understand the fundamentals of it for those who have done everything in life to make sure they are a man. But if you're not a man, I don't think you deserve that. Some other guy who's living here who's never had an idea of what a male figure is in his life, he's going based off of whatever little content he picks from the internet. He's like, well, I want a traditional wife. But therefore, he doesn't even have like a credit score. He doesn't even have like his, his life in check. He's still driving the hoopty from high school. But you want a traditional girl. Like what happens when you bring that girl over here? You're going to basically make her a Western woman and she's going to realize like this guy really doesn't have his shit together. I'm like, bro, you're fat, you're broke. You don't deserve a traditional wife. You need to level up. Somebody commented on this video and what they said is absolutely true. A woman can only step back into the traditional role if the man can be a provider, a traditional husband. If not, she has no choice but to step up. It's true. What if you can't afford your bills? Last I checked, North America was an extremely expensive continent to live on. And I'm saying this for women as well. Maybe they want a man who is submissive and less dominant. They better be the ones who are willing to step up as well. I am choosing to ignore this verdict. What? You can't ignore the verdict? What verdict? See, this is me ignoring the verdict. What are your thoughts on the Passport Bros? Do you think it's a great idea or do you think it's silly? Leave your comments below and have a great day.